Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my warm melts for the week. I wanted to go ahead, I was gonna wait a few more days, but I wanted to go ahead and just kind of knock this out today because I was realizing, I was like, yeah, if I keep my melting videos under 20 minutes, I think they're, they will be more manageable. And what happened is I feel like they're getting like 40 minutes <laughs> long. And I don't know if it's just because I'm talking too much or if I'm just talking about too much, you know what I mean? Like too many cents. So I was like, let me go ahead and just do this little bit that I have and see how this goes and see if this is a little bit shorter. I seem to be melting quite a bit more than I always anticipate. I'm like, wow, I really got through a lot. So let's go ahead and just jump right on in. By the way, I hope everyone is doing well and taking care of themselves and detoxing from social media if you need to for a little bit yeah i've definitely had to uh, do some things to try to maintain sanity it's such a crazy time right okay so the first one i have is vcs picture window tree and the, of course i picked the hardest one to try to describe <laughs> right off the, the bat but my friend candy sent me some coins some, some vcs coins this is warm mittens, melting snow, crisp mistletoe, and musky woods. Now, I don't get any mistletoe in this at all. This one, I feel like, is probably one of those scented oils that's like a one oil jobber. And it just has like a fancy scent description. To me, this one is sweet, fresh, clean, not laundry. I don't get any mistletoe and the musky woods is not really a predominant thing for me. If I had to describe this scent, I would say it's probably more or less like the melting snow slash warm mitten scent. Kind of like a, kind of like a, like when I think of warm mittens, I always think of like flannel sheets or like a cozy blanket kind of scent, but I don't really get that too much. I would say it's probably more like melting snow if you really want to get down to it. So that one for me is difficult to describe. I know a lot of people like this scent. This one did okay for me. It wasn't like really strong. I did it in my bathroom area too, which I always get a strong throw from things in there. But that one was just okay. I, I know she said somewhere that she couldn't get the oil for that anymore. Or some, uh, yeah, I don't think she can make that one anymore. So I know a lot of people like wanted it and... I, you know, honestly, I don't think I want it anymore. Like, it's good, but it's not, like, hoard worthy for me. So the next one I have is Super Tarts White Witch, Menthol, Grapefruit, Silver Birch, Rosemary. I absolutely adore this scent. I warmed it twice this week because I was, like, this is, like, one of my, I would say probably top 10 Super Tart scents. I, I maybe have a top 20. I don't even know. I haven't counted. But I put this is just a sweet, gorgeous scent. Nothing really dominates in here as far as the scents, the scent notes here. So you don't get a lot of menthol. You don't get a lot of grapefruit. I feel like maybe the most predominant thing, like you can smell the menthol. You can smell just a little hint of grapefruit. I feel like the silver birch might be the most prominent note, but I, I don't know that I even smell rosemary in here. It's just so well blended. It's like a perfect blend and it just comes off great. I mean, you can smell all those things in there, but it's just such a sweet, pretty scent. I can't even tell you. I think I heard someone say this one smelled Christmassy to them, and I can see that. My nose doesn't translate it as Christmas at all. It just translates it as this beautiful scent. I can warm this really anywhere, anytime. Like, that to me is definitely a top scent from Super Tarts. It's strong. It doesn't overpower either. Like that menthol, you would think, holy crap. Grapefruit, holy crap. None, none of that dominates or overtakes. It's just very like subtle, but it's still present in the room. It just, it's such a pretty scent. I can't get over how pretty that one is. So if you have not tried White Witch, I feel like that's like a super passed up scent. Don't pass it up, just give it a try. Clamshell's not gonna kill you. <laughs> So the next one I have is a sample of Take Me to the Fairies from the Bathing Garden. And this one I have as Jasmine and Lime Ginger. If you can read my chicken scratch, good lord. Nutmeg, hints of mint. So this one was a strange, like, 
not strange, but it was super light, so I couldn't really smell too much of it. It was, you know, when you put all these notes together, I mean, this is just, this becomes something kind of complex. But I could smell the ginger, but it was fairly light. But I kept smelling ginger. I was like, oh, I can smell the ginger in there. But that's pretty much all I could tell you that I could smell. Now, I know a lot of, of you probably just got this in her restock. So maybe someone else can come back. But I mean, I just had a very small amount of it. So I couldn't really get like the full scope of this scent. But I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. All I could think of was, oh, I smell the ginger, which, you know, it's probably a lot more complicated than that. But like I said, I just had a little bit. The next one I have is, which is a super surprise to me, Effie, which is ginger ale, grape soda, and sponge sugar. I really like this scent. I'm not usually the biggest fan. Like I have passed over this scent so many times throughout the years. And I believe this is one of the first Wait, did she come out with Effie when she first did the Hunger Games? I remember when she came out with the Hunger Games collection in general, but I don't remember if Effie was part of it or if that came later. Normally with grape scents, I just, I'm not on board, but this one was just really pretty. You definitely, I mean, it's definitely grape, so you have to like grape scents to like this one, but I feel like the ginger ale and the sponge sugar just gave it a nice little sweetness and fizziness. This one did really well. I didn't hate this one. And usually I would be like not on this one at all. So that one was really nice. Nice strong throw. I warmed it several times this week. And it was good. Darth is the Omen and Rosemary Mint. So Omen is Ocean Breezes. I think it's Red Apple and Vanilla Bean Noel. Yeah. So this one, ugh, I want to love this one so bad. But it has this undertone to it that I just cannot, like I try to overlook it and I'm like, oh, I love like the rosemary mint, I love the omen, this should be like the perfect blend, but the wax is black. So, and I've heard people talk about if Super Tarts has, um, I've heard a couple friends say that black wax or like the dark red gives off an undertone or gives them like allergies or something, but this one to me definitely has an undertone. And I just can't get over it. <laughs> um, like every time I try to warm it, I'm like, it's fine. Like when it's in the warmer, like it's okay. But I know it can be better if it was not for the undertone. I don't know. Does anyone else have that problem? Darth. Okay, I just have one cube of this le left. So I'll probably put it in my next week. Next, oh no. Yeah, I have one cube left. I'll put this in my next week's melting basket. This is Better Homes and Gardens Chilled Raspberry Lemonade. So this one was more raspberry, less lemonade, which I really wanted more of a lemonade scent because I love lemonade. This one surprisingly was just a medium throw. Like it definitely filled the room, but it wasn't strong. Sometimes with these Walmart waxes, you have to be super careful or they will literally like knock you on your feet. Yeah, so for me with the, um, so this wouldn't be a repurchase just because I smelled Rose Girl's raspberry sauce and I'm in love with that raspberry. This one isn't a bad raspberry, but it's not my favorite. It's just not something that I would purchase again just because I really like lemonade and that one was less lemonade, more raspberry. The next one I have is a bag of Summer Lovin' 2.0 from Rose Girls and I have about that much left. This one is... Apple Mango Tango, Marshmallow Smoothie, Campfire Marshmallow, and Vanilla Sandalwood. This one was pretty, well, actually Apple Mango Tango can be very strong in blends. This one was not that strong on the Apple Mango Tango, but I feel like it's the most dominant scent. Like that's what I smelled the most. I was really hoping, like I feel like the vanilla from the Vanilla Sandalwood is in there like I, i'm getting apple mango tango with like a vanilla scent is what i'm smelling so yeah it wasn't as like toned down as i wanted it to be i thought oh with all those other scents in there the apple mango tango will not dominate but it did for me so that one like it's okay but it's not something that i feel like i need to get again i'll warm it and then 
call it a day. <laughs> so the next one I have is Let's Go Fly a Kite from Super Tarts. This is Copper Tone, Strawberry, and Cotton Candy. Woo! This one, the Copper Tone. Holy crap. Uh, Copper Tone is the most dominant note in here. I didn't get any strawberry or cotton candy. I feel like the only thing it really did was just tone down that Copper Tone because I feel like Copper Tone on its own would be hella strong. And this, and while I didn't hate this one, I didn't love it. It was just kind of one of those like neutral type scents. I only did one cue, but man, I mean that Copper Tone just really dominates. I'm going to put this back in my melting basket. I have some fresh strawberry from Super Tarts and I also have cotton candy in a, either a potion pack or a mini melter. And I'm going to try to see if I can't tone this one down a little bit and make it more of what it says. Because to me, it's just mostly copper tone. Like it's a calm co copper tone because I feel like copper tone on its own would just be so strong. So yeah, that you know, I had that one in my bathroom and I didn't mind it in my bathroom, but I don't know that I could tolerate it in like a large space. I'd probably be like, holy hell, <laughs> this one is nuts. All right, the next one I have is Super Tarts Fairy Dust. And I know I've talked about this one a bazillion times. This is Fresh Balsam, Raspberry, and Cake Batter. Now, I know, I think I heard someone say that it was more of a Christmas scent for them. I can see that. To me, this is an all year scent. I just, I love this one with the, I mean, you get all the notes really. Fresh balsam, raspberry, cake batter. It's just, it all blends. Like you would never think to put balsam with cake batter, but it's really good. It makes it sweet. I just like this one. This one is a soother scent for me. Yeah, it's just pretty. Like I feel like no one wants to buy this one because it just sounds so strange, but it's really, really nice I like this one. And I actually, usually what I do is in my living room, I'll do two cubes and then one cube. Yeah, I'll do three cubes total and two different warmers. But I went ahead and I did two cubes, two cubes, and it was way too strong for me. I almost was like, ooh, this is too much. So um, yeah, sometimes you have to be careful with some of your sense if you overdo it like it can be too much all right so if you guys remember i did rainbow melts whip it probably a few boxes ago or a few videos ago sorry this is whip it frozen pineapple chunks and sweet coconut milk so i said in my first review that this was just way too sweet for me i actually like i enjoy the scent but it's just a little sweet for me i think the coconut milk for me the sweet coconut milk is just a little too much so what i did is I went ahead and warmed it with some brown sugar. I have just a little bit left, so, and then I also used quite a bit. I'm gonna try to finish this in my next box, but I need to grab some more brown sugar. The brown sugar with this made it so much better. Like, I could tolerate it so much better. You would think brown sugar would just really sweeten it up even more, but it just kind of toned that coconut milk down a little bit. So I'm gonna keep messing with it. I'm sure there's something else I can mix with this to, you know, maybe a marshmallow. Hmm, I wonder how marshmallow would be with that. I'm gonna think on that and see if I can figure out something else. But Rainbow Melts did really well for me. It was strong, not, overpower, not overpowering strong, but I mean, I could smell it and I could smell it outside other rooms as well. So that one was nice. I don't know that I would get a, any more like pineapple chunk type scents. Now, what was this on? I have little notes on the back. So this is my Satin Susie Scents. And this is one of my steampunk cupcakes in sugar shortbread and marshmallow violet overport. Loved this scent. So what I do is I take my, they come in these sweet little bags that she wraps them up in. She does them up really cute. I put them in polypropylene just because I feel like those bags aren't like scent safe like I don't feel like you can keep them in there for a long time so I don't know when I'm going to get to all my cupcakes so I went ahead and I just wow what was I trying to say anyways I put them in these bags just until I get to them so this one was I was trying to do like a violet type scent from VCS and this one was so good it warmed for the longest time and it was super strong now I in my last few reviews some of my cupcakes have been doing so so this one in particular did really well. So I think she's got a really nice violet oil. I feel like violet 
fragrance oils in general though are going to be pretty strong just because i feel like violet is a pretty strong scent longevity is really good on it oh, it's just so good i if you're afraid of floral definitely try violet with a um foodie scent sweet scent whatever <laughs> whatever i was trying to say there okay the next one i have is Empire Alchemy Bikini Bottom, and this is Pina Colada Tropical Suntan Lotion Papaya Lemon Sugar. So the main thing I was getting from this was a soft suntan lotion scent. This one was probably about a medium to a medium high throw. I could definitely smell it in the room. This is one that I wouldn't want to be overpowering. I feel like all these scent notes could get way, way, way too much. So the way Anna does things is she comes up with these amazing blends and then she makes it so that they're not gonna like throw you out of the freaking room. And I enjoy that about her stuff. Um, I appreciate that the suntan lotion was more on the sweet, softer side. Suntan lotion can easily overpower things. I feel like, I mean, my nose was picking up like a sweet suntan lotion, but I mean, there's a lot of scents going on in here. So my nose may have missed some of the things going on. I feel like you definitely get like a tropical vibe from this one. This one was really nice. I enjoyed this one. Can't wait to keep warming through. I still have um, about half, well, actually like, yeah, half a bag probably. Okay, let's get into the last two things and then we'll get into scent shots. So I can never find scent descriptions for some of these. I Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Sensationals. Tahiti Shores, I only did one cube in the bedroom. Sometimes with these, like I always start out with one cube because sometimes these scent, what am I trying to say? Sometimes the scents in these clamshells are super, super strong. So I was like, let's just do one cube first. So I couldn't find a scent description on this one. This one is, smells so good in the clamshell, but I don't feel like it translated as well in the warmer. I still have a whole clamshell to go through, so I'll warm a little bit more and then come back and review it a little bit better. But to me, this one, and you know what? The other thing, and you guys tell me if you agree, but do you think some of these sensationals, especially when they get into like the fresh scents, tend to come off as like cologne or like unisex cologne? Because I swear that's what I always get. I'm like, oh, this smells like a unisex perfume slash cologne that a man or a woman could wear and you would smell good. I feel like it's salty sea air kind of amped up a little bit. Like, you know how salty sea air is kind of a more soft tone? I feel like this is one that has, and I think the thing that makes it sharper or, you know, not so soft is the cologne part like the unisex cologne so yeah i don't know that's i mean it's pretty but i'm gonna have to warm it some more to see if it's like a love or what it is okay one more bag here i have new orleans from super tarts and this is sugar dusted beignets this is a vanilla bakery i wanted more bready slash beignet to come out of this one and it's just a vanilla bakery. I wanted to, I think I'm gonna mix it with some scents. Like I really wanna mix it with some, <clears throat> I really wanna mix it with some strawberry or some blackberry. Blackberry, do I wanna mix it with blackberry? I don't know, maybe blackberry jam. But I feel like I definitely wanna mix it with some things because I feel like by itself, it's kind of a, I feel like it's a good blender scent, to be honest. I really wanted like a more of a warm beignet scent to come out and yeah, it's not bad, but I don't like love, love it. Okay, so the next one I have is Poppins and Poppins is White Clouds, Summer Orange and Pink Chiffon. This one was about a medium high. The thing that I got out of here mostly was the white clouds and the pink chiffon. I really didn't get any summer orange. So this one was pretty. I don't typically love pink chiffon, but I feel like in this one it was okay. I'm not the biggest fan of white clouds either. This one was just pretty though. It was a very pretty scent. I would probably get this one again. I didn't hate it and I didn't love it. I Sometimes white clouds for me is so-so. You know, it's not my favorite, but I don't hate it either. 
Oh, and the pink chiffon, like if you're not a pink chiffon lover, I think you might like that one okay too because I don't love pink chiffon. So Catnap, which is from Empire Alchemy. This is airy pressed white linen, sea salt, twilight type, lavender, tonka bean. So this one was another soft one. The white linen, so when you think of white linen, I always think of a really strong like laundry type scent. White linen is very distinct to me. This one was just one of those ones you could put on in your kitchen and people would come in and go, oh, it smells really nice in here, but they wouldn't be overpowered by it. You did get the lavender and the, um, the white linen smell. Just a very soft linen scent. But to me, this was mostly lavender twilight actually a little bit more lavender than twilight i think because it it wasn't as sweet as like well actually twilight is pretty lavender ish yeah this one was good i did enjoy this one i it was you know it was just one of those ones that you put in your kitchen and you can smell its presence but it's not like gonna toss you out of your kitchen or anything this one from l3 waxy wonders is buttermint adipose which i think is her marshmallow i think it's like her marshmallow scent or what is it i i've never read the description before vanilla butter fudge this one was really really good i don't love buttermint scents in general but with the adipose and the vanilla butter fudge it was really really good i liked this one a lot this one i you know i do a lot of scent shots here in the living room and if they perform well i'm like oh this is good because you're only cutting it, I'm only cutting it in half. And my living room is so hard to get a scent. The vanilla butter fudge really takes that buttermint down a little bit. I think that's what helped me is, you know, cause I, like I said, I don't love buttermint. This one was really nice. Like that one a lot. That one was not in my milk basket either. I just pulled that one out randomly. So the next one I have is Rainbow Melt Yummy. This is Creamy Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookie Frosted Birthday Cake. I loved this one. I love her zucchini bread oil. This one was so strong. Mixed with her sugar cookie and birthday cake, I was like, yes. <laughs> this one I would definitely get again. The zucchini bread was just so perfect. In this blend mixed with the sugar cookie and birthday cake, I would definitely get this one again. In fact, I'll probably look for it at her next restock. Yummy was really yummy. <laughs> so Rainbow Melts Cool Beans. This is iced coffee, whipped marshmallow, and caramel drizzle. I did like this one, although caramel is not my most favorite scent. The It was strong, but it won't be a repurchase just because of that caramel scent. I'm not a fan of caramel coffee. Yeah, I, caramel for me lately has just been like too much this is a good blend though if you like coffee and you like caramel if you like a sweet coffee you might like that one just for me personally the caramel part of it was just a little bit uh, too much this one i have going right now this is stay awake this is lavender vanilla bean noel marshmallow fluff if you can read that <laughs> trying to write on the side of a scent shot cup is not easy I really like this one. I At first I thought it was that weird, you know how sometimes in her scent she, she's got that weird marshmallow fluff, like some of her marshmallows can come off Play-Doh-y and her lavender cream sometimes. I thought that that's what I was getting, but it's kind of, now that it's been warming a while, I think it's okay. It's actually really good. I'm quite enjoying it. It's definitely lavender and it's definitely her marshmallow fluff. I don't really smell vanilla bean noel. The lavender, the lavender is kind of toned down. It's not a strong lavender, so I don't really know how to quite describe that one just because I'm like, my nose is confused by the marshmallow because usually her marshmallow like kind of throws me off a little bit, but it's so weird. Like it's not giving me that Play-Doh vibe that it normally does, but it smells like the same one. I don't know. Sandalwood Peppermint Coconut Cream Pie from L3. Sandalwood and peppermint go amazing together. I wasn't really getting coconut cream pie, although coconut cream pie to me is more of a blender scent. This was just so good. The perfect amount of sandalwood, perfect amount of peppermint. These two scents together went amazing and it did really well in my living room area. 
The next one I have is Woof Wicks Grape Cigar. This one was heavy cigar and the grape scent was there, but it burned off super fast. It was pretty. So now cigar is different to me than tobacco. So tobacco to me is always sweet. This is more of a cigar scent. I did like this one, but like I said, the grape burned off really quick and then it turned into a cigar, but my husband and I both really like that one. Okay, so that is it. That is my melts for the week. I wanted to get this done because I thought, crap, if I go any longer, which is probably over the weekend, it'll be too much. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know and let me know what you guys are warming this week. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.